Today I will show you how to draw a rainbow between those two plants in Photoshop to get something like this. So let's start! Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. Before we jump straight into Photoshop, I just want to show you the setup here that I did for this photo that we will use today to show you how to create a rainbow. So basically I have a small LED light from above that is lit in those two plants from the top and I will make a rainbow here in Photoshop between those two and because the rainbow will act like a light source this is why I have this here to put light down on that and light on myself so you can improvise do whatever you want have fun play with it and make something really cool and interesting like we will do this today so let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin this is the photo that we will work on today and my idea behind this is to create a rainbow that is actually going from this plant all the way to this plant like I'm drawing the rainbow using Wacom pen so there are two types of rainbow that I will show you how to do it today this is one type of rainbow as you can see just regular classic rainbow with the soft transitions between the colors and it's really easy and uh, simple to create it you can basically create it in a matter of a few seconds and another type of rainbow is this one with more artistic look more cartoonish look and the beauty of this type of rainbow is that you can control the transition between the colors it can be harsh or it can be even soft like here so let me show you both of them let's delete this I don't need it and let's start from scratch so basically the first type of rainbow let's create a layer and let's name it rainbow the first type of rainbow is really easy to create you just need to use a gradient tool here and right here I will choose a rainbow gradient so these are default presets that you will get with Photoshop 2020 that I'm currently using it and here we have this transparent rainbow gradient so if we click on this we will have some rainbow colors right here and that's perfectly okay and if I click OK and choose radial gradient I don't want linear or any other I need radial because I need to make a circle so here mm, I'm not quite happy with this because as you can see right here we have really small hole inside basically what we want to have is more something more something like this and then to delete half of it to have a rainbow but then I, I'm left with only these colors so I don't want to do that let's delete everything so basically we need to choose another gradient that is not right here we have some others down below but still there is no rainbow gradient and in Photoshop 2020 there is another way how to get those legacy gradients that you already have in earlier version of Photoshop so if you're using some previous version of Photoshop you just need to go right here on this gear icon and then you will have much bigger list and go down there and choose um, special effects I think and then choose the rainbow we will do the same here but a little bit work around so here what we need to do we need to go to window and then we need to go to gradients here it is then we will have this menu gradient I can put it right there and here I have everything that I have here it's the same but with that difference if I click on the gear icon I just have this and here if I click on this I will have bigger menu and here I can choose the legacy gradients perfect then I will have it both here and here now I can close this and now I can go inside here and choose special effects and then here I have better rainbow it's let's see it's Russell's rainbow so this is it this is what we are searching for and as, and as you can see it's different we have much bigger gap this is empty transparent part and we have blue green yellow and red color now if I press ok and create with the radial one I have much better thing and this is this is it you created the rainbow in basically a matter of one second after you choose the proper gradient so now I will always have it here in my legacy gradients I just show you how to get to it so now basically you can do something like this all right this is it maybe you want to make it bigger control or command T this is how I think it's okay and I will create a layer mask use a brush black color and 100% opacity and let's choose a soft brush like that and just delete everything that I don't want to be here so maybe I want just to be until here because I'm drawing it and here I can create a mask to mask out some parts here with the harder brush 
because I want to have impression like the rainbow is coming inside from inside the leaves. So we can do something like this and this is perfectly cool and then you can maybe just refine this a little bit more and this is how, how it looks. Then you need to go and put this into screen blending mode just to have a little, little bit more transparent. And then you can do one bonus thing. You can go with hue and saturation adjustment layer, clip it to affect only the rainbow layer and lower the saturation maybe a little bit if this is too saturated and also boost the lightness a little bit, to have this kind of rainbow effect. And this can be applied to any kind of photo. If so, for example, if you have photo of a nature, just create a layer go to gradient tool and just create a gradient like we have right here let's make it smaller let me show you really quickly so something like this put it in a screen blending mode as i already said use hue and saturation clip it to affect this make it brighter maybe less saturated and now you can just control or command t and play with this however you want the rainbow to look maybe you want something like that let's create a mask or just use the eraser tool you can do several different things in photoshop and just go like that and there you have it really cool rainbow maybe you want to be a uh, bit bigger not like that bigger but let's see just a little bit bigger like that and and move it down and there you have it you have something like this let's see it's like it's really huge rainbow in this really nice landscape photo so you can also lower the opacity if you want and so on and so forth but this is one really easy and simple way to create like realistic rainbow effect to any of your photos but now let me show you that really cool artistic way how to create rainbow that i personally like it better and you have more control over it and you have you can have more fun with that so first i will create a new empty layer i will name it rainbow again and now what we need to do we need to create some color stripes from that rainbow manually and then to bend it. So basically you can do whatever you want. You can choose a brush tool, 100% opacity and what you want 100% hardness and you can choose by adding colors. So any of these colors you can add in a rainbow. If we go back to gradient tool and here you can see that our previous rainbow has just four colors, blue, green, yellow and red. We can add even more. So we can start with the purple like this and just choose a brush size and just by holding shift make a stripe you can make it both vertical and horizontal i'm just making it uh, vertical but no any particular reason then let's go to blue color like this then we can go to the steel one again just this and then we can go to green maybe like oops, a little bit closer like this then we can go to yellow and then we can go to red we can do it orange let's let's add an orange have a little bit better transition more colors and then we can go with red right so something like here a little bit closer like that right so this is our rainbow stick and we need to bend it a little bit to actually reshape it into that arc form. So how to do that? First, what we need to do is to rotate it to be horizontal. So press Control or Command T, and just rotate it like this, press Enter, and then again go into Control or Command T into Transform, go right here to this icon and go from Warp from Custom to Arc. And this is really cool. We already have some cool rainbow. So here we can bend it. Now it's 50% bent. We can go to all the way to 100% or minus 100%. Wow, 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 wow. So we can have a lot of fun with this. I will go like that, press OK, and then Control or Command T again, make it smaller, put it right here. Let's see, the rainbow will go like that. And also we can right click and go to Warp, and we can even, even move this a little, bit up, a little bit up if we want to change the rainbow. Maybe we want to make it differently here and so on and so forth. The point is that you can have a lot of fun with that. So this is one way. And then I will press enter. And uh, this is this is it basically. Now we can choose the same mask by holding Alt or Option key. I will drag the mask up that I made previously. And uh, I can go right here. And maybe let's bring back, bring back the colors right and then with the black 
I can, sorry, I can do like that, right? Or I can make it more soft transition. So let's let's make it more soft like that, but bring it back. Why not? And also I can bring back this part because we made a mask for a little bit different narrowed rainbow, but now we have a different type of rainbow. And we can refine the mask here. Let me see. So I will leave it in the middle of this, like it's going from there. All right, and now we need to, again, to put this into screen blending mode. It's cool, transparent. And now we can play by adding some glow effects around the rainbow and here. So to do that, let's create a new layer, put it in a linear dot blending mode. Let's go back here. Of course, you can lower the opacity of the rainbow if you want. So this is perfectly cool. And I will show you how you can have a lot of fun by blurring this, but later. So now we'll go with a white color, or maybe some yellowish, but really bright. I want to go with soft brush maybe 10 or 20% opacity and add some glow right here. I want to use the same mask, just to add a glow right there. Okay. And also I need to refine a mask here a little bit because I actually want the glow to be right here. And as you can see here, we have some issues with the mask. Not too big, of course. Okay. so. This is one, one glowing part we can add maybe here a bit. Then I want to add another, actually another layer again into linear dodge blending mode. Choose the red color, but darker red like this, and then add maybe 20 or 30% of best. Add a glow around here, then choose blue, blue color, add a glow right here. As you can see, just, just play with these things and add glow here and there. I really think it's cool. Also, I want to add some glow on the fingers here and the pen, like this is actually illuminating these things. And I can create another layer, again, put it into linear dot blending mode and add some more glow here more red and more blue. You can see just switching between those two. And this is this is how it looks. It's really nice. And again, and you can add as many glow effects as you want. But this is pretty cool. So we already have really nice, cool rainbow, artistic rainbow. And now the fun begins while going to this layer, right click and convert it to smart object. You don't need to convert it into smart object, but I want to do that because I want to apply Gaussian blur as a smart filter so I can really easily go back and forth. So let's go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And here, as you can see, we have rainbow like this, or we can blur it a lot to have like really nice soft transitions. So, or even more to have something, I don't know what it, whatever it is, some crazy, again, some cool lighting effect, but this is really cool because you can go all the way with this cartoonish type a little bit, maybe a little bit blurry, but again, still really, really cool way or maybe more like, like a real rainbow, something like, like this. So for this, I like to have it probably somewhere here. I will press okay. And this is the effect that we created today. So let's group this, name it rainbow number two. And this is second version. This is first version, just regular rainbow. So again, you can add even more lighting effects here, glows, etc., like we did right here to, to make this a little bit more interesting. Also, you can choose with this second way, you can choose exact colors that you want to be included in the rainbow. So you don't need to have so many colors. You can have just maybe a blue, green, blue, green, yellow and red and the stripes to be a little bit more wider then again you can have really cool effect like i have it here on this photo right there i have just four colors and a little bit more wider color stripes so you can create something like that it's a little bit different than this one so there's so many possibilities and also you can add it in a nature photo to have something like this Right guys, so that would be it for today. I really hope that you liked this episode and that you learned something new, fun and interesting out of this one that you can use it later in your own photos, even if you're making photo manipulation like I did here, just small 
cool effect with rainbow or maybe if you want to uh, add some more fun and more details more effects to some na nature photos to add rainbow on the rainy day or whatever there are so many ways you can do that you don't need to use it as a rainbow you can use it just to create some really cool light beam effects out of this you can choose colors or it can be just two colors or five or 15 colors doesn't matter and you saw now how you can use it to reshape it into an arc if you choose some other effects from that menu from warp menu you can have some maybe flag or maybe some different shapes that uh, are there as an option so just experiment have fun and you will see what kind of cool possibilities you can do with this effect so if you have any questions regarding this to this episode just leave me down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun tutorial bye bye